Good morning, my beautiful friends. It is almost 8 a.m. And y'all know I've been sick. I'm feeling better. Um, still trying to get my energy back. And I still have this nasal way. Charlie Brown teacher. Wah, 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 Sam. So anyway, I've really been hungry for baked steak. I don't know why. Maybe it's a, like a comfort food thing. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to throw it in my slow cooker. I also forgot that... Um, Brock put a package of fish in the fridge that he caught, fresh fish. So I'm gonna cook the fresh fish tonight. I'm gonna to go ahead and put this on the slow cooker now. And that's the beauty of the slow cooker. It'll do its job and I can put this in a, a nice co covered dish and put it in the fridge and then we can have it tomorrow. Not a big deal. Just have to wait another day. So, super simple. I got my slow cooker here. This is just a, um, sirloin steak that I had in the freezer. I forgot to thaw it out. So I put it in the microwave for just, you know, five or six minutes, just enough so it was pliable for me to get it in here. Because it was a big old dinosaur looking steak as Mason likes to call it. So this is what I'm going to do today. Feel free to change up your soups. So I'm gonna add one can of cream of mushroom soup. Listen, y'all, I want a lot of gravy on my baked steak. I've got a packet of brown gravy. Ellison, you're welcome to cook the steak off and make your own brown gravy. And I've done that lots of times, but y'all, sometimes these are required. Brown gravy, cream of mushroom. I'm also gonna do a can, uh, packet of mushroom gravy. And I meant to save that can and I threw it in the trash. All right, it's a big deal, okay. And to that, I'm going to add one Lipton onion soup mix. I was going to say add a can of water or a can of beef broth. I threw my can in the trash. So I'm just going to add what I think is equivalent to a can. Okay. So probably a cup of broth, beef broth. You could use water. Not a big deal. Just gonna give this a quick stir really quickly. Now as the steak cooks, you know, it'll cook down and juice and that fat release from that broth. Okay, so I've got all that mixed in there together. It's so good. Now I'll watch it. Um, I'll put it on and before I leave for work, I'll see if I wanna add more gravy. I'll see how it's doing. Okay, so here I've got my steak. Now there's a lot of salt, sodium in those products, so I'm just gonna salt my meat. Go. Like I said, I had to do this into two pieces because uh, it was so big. Let me just flip this over here. I'll try to anyway. Go. Salt the meat. Put that right down in that delicious gravy. This piece was a little bit larger, so let me go over here. Oh my. Like something out of a late night TV show, did it? Some kind of horror movie. Sorry, folks, but it's just a roast. It'll be all right. When I flip that side, let me get some salt on that other side. That's it. We're gonna let the slow cooker do its job. Here, let me get this, let me get this out of the way. Nobody wants to see that. All right, friends. Here we go. Take a quick peek at that. Oh, yeah, and that's going to be so good. Okay, got my slow cooker base on five. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to leave it go. Ideally, when we get home from work at 1, 1 1.30, it's ready to go. And um, since we're not eating it tonight, mm, I'm kind of sad about that. I'll go ahead and put it up in a Tupperware container and put it in the fridge. But I will show you the finished product. 
Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's Thursday morning. It's about 8 a.m. I probably should have gotten this started earlier because I never know uh, if there are my food trucks going to call and say, you need to be at work. So anyway, I'm going to get this started. What we're having for dinner today, as you know, previous in my video, I talked about I had a hankering for baked steak. So there's that baked steak. And I cooked it yesterday um, because I didn't realize once I put it on that I had fish in the fridge that I needed to cook. So we had fish last night. I'm gonna upload that video today for you. So today, I went ahead and cooked this off in my slow cooker. There it is, I put it in the fridge. I'm gonna put it back in the slow cooker and let it heat up slowly so it's warm when we get home from work. Also, we're having mashed potatoes, which I have back here going on the oven. See, I say oven because my pizza oven, my stove, so they're going. And then here I have some green beans I'm gonna do. These are just two cans of green beans. One can I drained, one can I left the juice on. So we're gonna add some salt to this. And then we've got about two tablespoons of butter here, real butter. And then we're gonna add um, just a little bit of bacon grease, mm. about a tablespoon or so full. Maybe a little more. That's it for the green beans. I'm gonna put them on now and let them cook down. And once they're done, I'll let them cool and then I'll put them in the fridge. And then all we'll have to do when we get home this afternoon is just um, heat all this up. Okay, friends, my taters are done. And I wanted to share this tip with you that I uh, watched the other night on a video about this uh, lady's fabulously fluffy potatoes. So what she did, she said was she drained her potatoes and then she put them back on the stove on a low heat and let them get as dry as possible without them burning or scorching. Scorching, I'm making up words now. Without scorching that pan. So I tried that, I did that. So there you go, look at those, they're pretty dry. Now she mashed hers with uh, a hand mixer. I'm not going to, I always use a hand masher. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I always like to start mashing first my taters get this workout in. It's arm day, steam facial. It's a two for one. Now, I did salt these taters before I started this process. She also said to come in with warm liquids. So whatever liquid you're using, if it's heavy cream, if it's milk, whatever, for it to be warm. Now I warmed this up in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's 2% milk. I got a half a cup here. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so I'm just gonna go with half for a minute. And then I'm gonna pinch off some butter here because I forgot to grab anything. Probably about a tablespoon of butter there. Plop. Now we're gonna start the mash process again. I don't know that I know anybody that doesn't like mashed potatoes. I'm sure someone out there in the world doesn't like a mashed tater. I am not one of those people. Now, I ha will have to say, my mom, Al Turley, who lived in Kentucky, she made the most delicious everything in the world food, except I did not like her mashed potatoes. And let me tell you why. She put mayonnaise in them. I don't know why. Maybe some of you know why. And I need to ask some of my older cousins if they knew why she did it. And I don't know if it was she liked the taste of it. Um, it made them tangy. Just wasn't one of my favorite things when I was a kid. And I never asked her why she did it because, you know, I probably thought it was disrespectful to ask her. So, I would say to my mom sometimes, we'd go to my mom's, will you make the mashed potatoes? Sometimes mama would let her, sometimes mama wouldn't. So there we go. And I understand, I don't like people in my kitchen either. So for some reason she put mayonnaise in, and I don't know if maybe it was like a situation where sometimes she didn't have milk. So that took the place of it, I don't know. I should probably research it and see. And there we go, friends. The mashed taters are done. I ended up putting in a, um, a half a cup of milk. There they are. I'm gonna leave them a little stiffer to hold up for that delicious gravy that I made for that baked steak. We, we're gonna add some pepper. I'm gonna put these in a container and put them in the fridge. And all we'll have to do when we come home this afternoon is heat these up. So there we go, mashed potatoes 101 tip for you. Let me know what you think and let me know if you try it.
All right, friends, home from work. I've got those potatoes that I made earlier this morning and those green beans. Also have some cottage cheese. I've got this wonderful baked steak that we made in the slow cooker. There it is with this gravy. I've been so hungry for this. Let's get some out here. It's super tender. Just gonna scoop me some right out. A little bit of gravy on them taters. And there you have it, friends. Wait, this is what we're having for lunch. Have a great day, friends. Like, subscribe, hang out, be a friend.